developing a fifth generation fighter jet is no easy task for any nation. Now India stands on the brink of a major leap in aviation technology. With its upcoming advanced medium combat aircraft, a project designed to meet fifth generation standards. The responsibility for this ambitious program lies with Aeronautical Development Agency, another defense research development organization. While India has made significant progress in indigenous defense manufacturing, certain critical technology for MCA, such as advanced avionics, stealth materials, and high thrust engines, still present challenge due to limited expertise, infrastructure, and technological maturity. This is not India's first attempt for developing a fighter aircraft. Back in the 1970s, India produced its own HF-24 Mirat fighter, followed decades later by the Tejas Light Combat Aircraft program launched in the early 2000s. The Tejas took many years to develop and while not yet fully combat proven, it is operationally capable of handling regional threat, marking an important milestone in India's journey towards self-reliance in military aviation. However, 5th generation fighter like MCAR demands more advanced system than Tejas and that's where the challenge begins. Let's explore them one by one. Number 1. Jet Engine Development The MCAR requires low bypass after burning turbofan in the 110-120 to kN thrust class, capable of supercruise and featuring low infrared signature for stealth. This is a major hurdle for India's gas turbine research establishment. In the past, GTRE GTX 35 VS Kaveri engine intended for Tejas failed to meet performance requirement. As a result, the MK MK1 will initially use General Electric F414 engine that produces 98 kN of thrust, while MK2 aims to use indigenous 110 kN engine co-developed with foreign partner. Why is this difficult? Designing such engine demands advanced metrology, precision manufacturing, and deep expertise in aerodynamics and thermodynamics, areas where India's industrial ecosystem is still maturing. Full technology transfer and intellectual property rights are critical to avoid future dependency. Both Saffron and Ross Rice have offered co development full IP rights to India, but at very high cost. Number 2. Stealth Materials and Coatings To achieve low radar visibility, the MCA will require radar absorbent materials and special coating that minimize its radar cross-section. These materials must withstand a high temperature, aerodynamic stress, and harsh environmental conditions while maintaining low electromagnetic signatures. Why is this difficult? Stealth coating involves complex and proprietary chemical formulations and application processes mastered only by few nations like US, Russia, and China. Producing them requires advanced nanotechnology and composite materials complexities. Areas where India is still building expertise, integrating this coating into the airframe without compromising structural strength is another major engineering challenge. While AMCA's design already includes stealth features such as a S-shaped air index and internal weapon based indigenous RAM coating development will likely depend on foreign collaboration or imports. Number 3. Advanced Avionics and AESA Radar AMCA's avionics suit will require indigenous active electronic scan array radar with advanced capability for situational awareness, low probability of intercept, and network-centric warfare. India has developed Uttam AAC radar for Tejas, but scaling this into the fifth generation standard, including AI-based sensor fusion and stealth integration is far more complex. Why is this difficult? AAC radar demands advanced semiconductor technology complex software integration and sophisticated sensor fusion. 
areas where India's electronic sector is still developing. Integrating the system into stealth platform while ensuring interoperability with other systems adds further complexity. India may need foreign assistance to bridge these gaps. Number 4. Internal Weapons Base and Precision Strike Capability Fifth-generation fighters carry weapons internally to preserve the stealth and aerodynamic efficiency. The MCAS internal bay will carry up to 1,500 kgs of payload, including air-to-air -air missile and precision-guided munition. Why is this difficult? Internal weapon base requires a precision mechanical and aerodynamic design to ensure reliable deployment without compromising stealth. India has limited experience. Here is a most indigenous missiles like Astra and Brahmos were designed for external carriage. Adapting them for stealth compatible internal deployment requires extensive redesign and R&D and testing. Number 5. Integrated Vehicle Health Management That's a IVHM system. MCA will feature IVHM system for real-time monitoring and predictive maintenance, reducing downtime and improving combat readiness. Why is this difficult? Such system needs advanced sensor, AI-driven diagnostic and secure software integration. India's aerospace sector is still developing expertise in these areas and ensuring cybersecurity adds future challenges. Number 6. Complex Manufacturing and Supply Chain A fifth-generation fighter like AMCA demands thousands of precision components, composite structure and highly reliable supply chain. Currently, India's defense aerospace sector is dominated by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, which is already stretched from programs like Tejas Mark 1 and 2. Private sector involvement is still limited. Why is this difficult? Meeting MCAS timeline prototype by 2028, induction by 2034 will require massive infrastructure scaling. A public-private partnership model is essential, with selected production partners through expression of interest, but establishing new facilities and ensuring timely delivery remains a significant hurdle. India challenges in developing the MCAS stem from mix of technological, industrial, and systemic factors. Fifth generation fighters demands cutting edge system, from engines and stealth material to AI powered avionics, mastered by only handful of nations like the US, China and Russia. If India can overcome these hurdles and achieve indigenous capabilities in all key components, the MCA could truly match global fifth generation fighter. If not, it risks being categorized as a 4.5 generation aircraft, despite its ambitious design. What do you think? Can India overcome these challenges to create a true fifth generation fighter? Let us know in the comment section. Jetline Marvel brings you the finest aviation t-shirts at unbeatable prices, crafted from 100% premium cotton. Elevate your passion for aviation with our exclusive collection, perfect for pilots, aviation enthusiasts, and frequent flyers who dream of the skies. Features, premium comfort, made from soft, breathable cotton for all day wear. Aviation inspired design, bold graphics featuring aircraft, cockpit elements, or aviation quotes. Perfect fit, available in multiple sizes with a relaxed yet stylish fit. Durable and fade resistant, high quality print that lasts wash after wash. What are you waiting for? Visit jetshop.in now and grab your aviation t-shirt today.